United States, Dr. Rafat Hussain. He is a philanthropist in the US working as a senior scientist at the FDA and he's been working there for the past 28 years. These 28 years include two years on a National Research Council Fellowship too and before this he held research positions at a prestigious Kyoto University, Japan and taught at the Université de René, France for five years. He also availed of the U.S. Federal Government's Fellowship at National Institute of Standards and Technology in Maryland and later served as a research associate at Georgetown University, Washington, D.C. He is an alumnus of the Department of Chemistry, AMU, which he joined in 1972 and from where he completed his PhD in 1982. His public life is as illustrious as his career in the sciences. He is a life member of the oldest Aligarh Alumni Association of the U US, the Aligarh Al Alumni Association of the Washington DC, and he has served in various capacities to strengthen the association's philanthropic initiatives like scholarship programs for needy students in AMU and outside in Aligarh through the Muslim Social Uplift Society and by promoting Urdu on specially created platforms for holding mushairas. Aapke benazir ilm dosti qom parwari aur urdu se derina mohabbat par kyun ali sardar jafri ke alfaz mein kaha jai aise diwane phir na aayenge dekh lo humko be misal hai. Rafat Hussain saab ki dikhari ki dikhari ki dikhari ki dikhari Thank you, Ms. Faiza Abbasi, ko zada kar diya aapne. <laughs> wow, it's an amazing feeling to be at Kennedy Auditorium. <laughs> Though I visit the campus almost uh, every couple of years, but did not get a chance to be inside the auditorium. Sankhano auditorium mein mein gaya जो चार और और कनेडी ऑडिटोरियम का है उसका जवाब सो आई प्रॉमिस टू स्पीक ऑन पोस्ट पैंडेमिक सिनेरियो ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड आई पुट माय थॉट्स ऑन पेपर सो आई डोंट टेक मोर देन फाइव मिनट्स एंड आई प्रैक्टिस so hopefully it won't be more than five minutes. <laughs> if I go beyond that, my sincere apologies. So respected Vice Chancellor, Dr. Mansoor, Pro-Vice Chancellor, Professor Gulrez, Honorable Registrar, Mr. Imran, and our Chief Guest, Professor Agarwal. Fellow Guest of Honor Honorees, Professor Sufyan Beksa, and distinguished alumni, and of course, the students, if there are any here. Assalamu alaikum. And all sorts of greetings. I'm not going to say certain, everything. So my name is Rafat Hussain, as I, as your Faiza introduced. And I am representing the one of the oldest, or actually the oldest, Aligarh Alumni Association of the U.S. And that is Aligarh <laughs> Alumni Association of Washington, D.C. And it is, we were honored and privileged to host our Vice Chancellor, Professor Tariq Mansoor Saab, in, in 2019, just before the pandemic began. And I tell you that almost all the Vice Chancellor from Alila who visited, uh, visited uh, the United States, we have hosted them. So that is a great honor for our association. So, Beg Saab ko to sab log jaanti hai. Beg Saab jo hai, jok kehne mein mahir hai. So, isi liye Beg Saab ne mere saath bhi activity kar di. 
and he just called me in the, like uh, two three days back and can I like, say oh, you are included in the list or you have a package ke saath speech bhi aati hai, five minutes ki. <laughs> oh. my intention was only to attend and sneak out uh, easily from here because uh, that that is the feeling I wanted to have after a long time I tell you so anyway, he recruited me as a guest of honor and asked me to give a speech. So, uh, so my initial intention was just to attend and uh, leave the campus because I was here for two days. So I had to quickly jog my mind and put my thought together what to say do on this very important topic of uh, post-pandemic uh, scenario of uh, education, which is a huge topic. Anyway, jokes apart, uh, I am honored and privileged and humble to be included in the distinguished list of guest of honors. And thank you everyone. Thank you, Beksa, to include me and Professor Mansoor and entire alumni of uh, committee. So in spite of short notice, and struggling with jet lag, I attempted to put my thoughts together as education is very, is pretty close to my heart. I have been associated with the Nigar Alumni Association in Washington, D.C. the day I landed in the U.S. in 1989. So it's almost like 45, 46 years I have been and then our association runs a scholarship program, and many of you know that. And we have been giving like a 350 scholarships per year to the students on need some United places. So, and these student, these scholarships are for lifetime. Right? So they are guaranteed forever as long as, uh, as long as you continue your studies and perform well. So this is one of the small part of the association, not going into the details, we do a lot of other things outside the year too, but uh, th because of the time constraint, I'm not gonna go into details. So before going into this year's topic, let me emphasize the importance of the education. Every single person, sitting here realizes the fact that education is the most important commodity for the future generation. Education provides global and regional leadership and response to the contemporary challenges we face. And the live example is the current pandemic. The current global health pandemic shined a harsh light on our vulnerabilities and challenges humanity faces today. So UNESCO reported that more